Hello everybody, my name is Roland Jung, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Klagenfurt and I'm supervised by Professor Weiss. In this presentation we discuss our new perspective on modular multisense fusion from a collaborative state estimation point of view and how it paves the way towards efficient, consistent and scalable generalized modular estimators. First, I will give you a short introduction and explain you our primary motivation for bridging the gap between these two domains. Afterwards, I will present you our modular architecture and how it helps comparing in total five different approaches in the following evaluation of estimation performance and scalability. After concluding the results, our contribution will be summarized. Modular and versatile set estimation is a crucial component for autonomous systems to achieve complex tasks. Additional sensors may complement others or may increase the system redundancies in case of sensor failures or sensor outages due hindered a perception. Integrating additional sensors increases both the system's and computational complexity. Typically, sensors provide measurements at different rates, have different latencies between the moment of perception and processing the information and may require different states to be actively estimated such as measurement biases or the displacement between the rigid body and the sensor. On the right, a micro aerial vehicle is depicted, which typically uses some of these five sensors for localization and autonomous navigation in space. Integrating new sensors or adding redundant ones comes in classical filter formulations with tremendous engineering effort. On the other hand, combining a multitude of redundant or complementary elements in a scalable fashion is in fact exactly what collaborative state estimation algorithms do with swarm of robots. We aim at generalizing multi-sensor fusion for recursive filter formulation originating from that perspective. This, generaliz this generalization introduces isolated private sensor updates, which can be for instance serialized updates for a propagation sensor or as shown here in purple, an update on a reference sensor. And it introduces joint isolated updates between two or multiple sensors estimates. For instance, a tightly coupled barometric fusion incorporating a local reference sensor, a rigidly attached barometer and an IMU. The primary motivation to formulate a new modal multisense fusion approach stems from our previous publication where we have introduced new decoupling schemes. Typically, each agent runs locally recursive filter that propagates states by proprioceptive sensors and corrects them by extraceptive ones. Collaborative state estimation aims to treat all estimates as one global state and to fuse information provided by different sensors from all agents in a statistically optimal fashion. Three filter steps were identified, which are represented in different colors throughout the presentation. State propagation step are advancing the estimates in time based for instance on control input encoders or NMU and are held in orange. Private observations are correcting estimates based on local X-receptive sensor readings for instance GPS measurements and are held in red and trend observations are referring sensor readings directly or indirectly to multiple agents estimates and are held in blue. Those can be various relative sensor measurements between agents for instance range, bearing, relative pose, etc. Representing for individual agents repetitive observations over time gives us an impression on the vast amount of measurements to be performed in a centralized fusion entity and a lot of communication is required. Therefore, researchers in the past decades have proposed different approaches aiming for decoupled and decentralized estimation that reduces computation, communication and maintenance cost. To achieve modularity and to reduce computation computation complexity, we came up with the idea to port existing collaborative state estimation strategies to local estimators. But first, let me explain what makes it so challenging. The challenge arises from performing trend observations as they lead to direct or indirect correlations which need to be maintained in each filter step. Initially, agent states are independent shown by serial entries in the off diagonal blocks of the trend covariance matrix. Trend observation leads to coupling and estimates become more and more directly or indirectly correlated. Covariances are positive semi-definite, thus the up and lower diagonal triangular matrix contain the same information. Romliotis and Becky propose to factorize um, cross-currences which allows each agent to perform state propagation distributed. 
Nonetheless, updates require the global state and a persistent all-to-all -all communication. In addition, Luft et al. proposed to apply approximations that allow for both isolated propagations and updates, but the cross-currents factors have to be corrected in each filter step. Using these approximations, only agents that participate in trend observations directly benefit from them. While using a centralized equivalence strategy, all correlated agents would contain, uh, obtain corrections. To further reduce the maintenance effort, we propose previously a buffering scheme that requires maintenance only in the moment of trend observations. Another advantage is that agents that meet only sporadically or after a long period of time do not cause permanent maintenance overhead. By using the distributed approximated history strategy, communication between agents and maintenance of interdependencies is only required at the moment they perform trend observations. Regarding the sensor updates performed, for instance, on Agent 1, one can see that the updates appear less frequent than on the global scale in a swarm of agents. But sensors can be viewed as agents that perform observations with others. Especially in case of added inertial estimators, where ex-receptive sensor updates are typically fused with the propagated IMU estimate. Therefore, modular multisense fusion can be seen as a problem of multi-agent collaborative state estimation, aiming for decoupled and decentralized estimation with the difference that swarm agents are now considered sensors of a single platform. Applying the collaborative state estimation perspective on local agents' beliefs allows us to use existing decoupling strategies, mainly developed in the domain of collective localization, and to generalize multisensor fusion for Kalman filter formulations. Proprioceptive sensors, in our case an IMU, are held in orange again, while ex-receptive updates are treated as joint observations in blue. In addition, private observations are inherently supported. In total, we ported three different strategies from collaborative state estimation as well as a state-of-the-art native MMSF approach called MARS. MMSF-C is a modularized but centralized equivalent implementation that performs a statistically optimal fusion. Due to the modularity, the implementation is not as efficient as a corresponding Kalman filter operating on a static full state. MMSF-DP is using the cross currents factorization as proposed by Romeliotis and Peiki and allows for decoupled state propagation. MARS is our native robust and modular multisensor fusion approach proposed by Broma et al. that compensates missing interdependencies between sensors using different eigenvalue correction strategies. MMSF DACC is like MMSF DP but using approximations for observations proposed by Luft et al allowing for isolated updates. MMSF DAH is extending MMSF DACC by using a common buffer for correction terms. A big challenge was to come up with a software architecture in MATLAB, allowing us to seamlessly interchange different fusion strategies for a fair comparison. Further, it had to allow us to use an arbitrary number of sensors, which can be added or removed on the fly. And lastly, multi-rate updates as well as delayed or out-of-order updates have to be supported. We came up with the idea to separate the MMSF fusion strategy from the actual sensor estimator logically. This simplifies the development of new fusion strategies as well as to add new types of sensor estimators. Each physical sensor is associated to one instance of a sensor estimator, which again specifies the actual estimate, the propagation and observation model. In our manuscript, we added a pseudocode providing detailed insights in the decoupled approximated history approach. As already mentioned, the sensor handler is buffering the recent measurements up to the supported maximum sensor delay. Each sensor estimator requires two fixed time horizon buffers for maintaining a history of beliefs and the correction term for the cross currents factors, and a map holding the history of factorized cross currents to n other sensors. We identified for each filter step a correction term, denoted as phi for propagation, y and lambda for private and trend updates, respectively. 
as the buffers have a fixed time horizon and updates between sensors can happen rarely, it must be ensured that the information does not fall outside this horizon. In the figure we show how a cross current factor is maintained. The propagation sensor, DMU, has to forward propagate the cross current factor referring to sensor 2 using elements from the correction buffer in red. This means if a sensor suffers from outages or the period of updates is larger than the buffer history, a sporadic maintenance has to be performed. We evaluated the scalability of the individual approaches by first increasing the number of sensors and second by increasing the sensor delay. As we consider both private and joint observations, we added an, to an IMU per increment the temperature and absolute position sensor. This figure shows the total execution time in a logarithmic scale and the DACC, DH and MARS scale similarly without sensor delay. By increasing the sensor delay, the execution time of the centralized equivalent approaches increases tremendously while DAH and MARS start performing better than DACC. This figure explains the reason. Delayed measurements enforces to redo all later measurements in order. As an amuse propagation sensor was used, many propagation steps had to be repeated. Due to the correction buffer, DAH and MARS are in the propagation step invariant with respect to the number of known sensors, while the effort increases linearly in DACC. Summarized, DAH scales better than DACC, while DAH and MARS scale equally. To evaluate the estimation performance, we decided to use a barometer and three absolute position sensors to simulate redundancy in case of sensor outages. This figure shows the measurements performed over time and that sensors were switched on and off interleaved, leading to indirect correlations between them. The top figure shows the estimated trajectories using five fusion strategies as well as the true trajectory. As DACC and DAH consider correction terms for update steps compared to mass, they could perform almost identically as the centralized equivalent approaches, while our approach achieved similar execution times as Mars. This renders MMSFDAH ideal for high sensor rates, second capable of performing any sensor to any sensor observations, third faster for reapplying measurements and fourth it requires a minimal overhead for maintaining temporarily disabled sensors. With this work, we bridged the gap between two research domains and proposed a novel scalable decoupling strategy for comma filters. We compared in total five different fusion strategies and provided a pseudocode for the proposed DAH approach. Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions, please send me an email or text me on LinkedIn. If you want further information, please visit us on DroneHub or this QR code will direct you to our institute's website.